Here, Draffy, Draffy, Draffy. Here, Draffy, Draffy. Come over here. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Bridget here at Como Park Zoo and Conservatory. Today, we're going to talk about adaptations and how they help animals and plants survive in their environments. An adaptation is a body part, feature, or behavior that helps a living thing function better in its environment. Adaptations not only help animals and plants survive, but sometimes they have to change over time in order to keep the species thriving. Today, we're going to see an adaptations battle. Both of these species have evolved together to survive in the African savanna, which is located in central part of Africa. The environment there is arid, with long dry seasons that have very little rainfall. Animals and plants that live in the savanna need to be tough in order to survive there. Contestant number one, the acacia tree. The acacia tree is known for its umbrella-like shape. There are up to 170 species of acacia tree. Acacia can survive in extreme conditions with very little water. Its sturdy roots grow deep to access groundwater and leaves are a grayish color to repel sunlight to keep the tree cool. The leaves also can close up during the day to preserve water. Contestant number two, the giraffe. The giraffe is the world's tallest animal. With long legs and an extremely long neck, they can weigh up to 3,000 pounds. Giraffes are herbivores that feed and forage on tree leaves, in particular, the acacia, which makes up 31% of its diet. A protective adaptation the acacia tree has is that it's tall. Some can grow up to 40 feet high. Because of the acacia's height, it gives them an advantage of not being foraged by other herbivores that are not as tall and cannot reach their branches. Average draft height is 16 to 19 feet, which makes the acacia at perfect snacking height. Drafts have an extremely long neck that contains seven vertebrae, the same number as humans have. To care for the drafts here at Como, we have had to adapt our exhibits to accommodate drafts height, such as tall doors that the zookeepers use to shift drafts on and off exhibit, and a pulley system that helps us raise their hay and feed bags up to giraffe level. Because giraffe are so tall, they can eat acacia without much competition from other herbivores. Since both of our contestants have height as an advantage, round one ends in a tie. When looking at the branch of an acacia tree, the first thing you notice is its large thorns. These thorns are an adaptation for defense. It, they help defend the tree against herbivores that may want to eat it. Woo! In fact, the gardeners here at Como have had to adapt the way they care for the acacia tree. They have to wear these special Kevlar gloves when pruning the tree to protect themselves from the thorns. Giraffe have a very special adaptation to get around the thorns and that is their prehensile tongue. With that tongue, they're able to wrap around and in between the thorns to avoid being poked. Giraffe mouths have rough lips and tough palates uh, so that they can endure a few pokes here and there. A giraffe's tongue measures up to 21 inches long and that's about two feet. That's the same as about three Twizzlers. Giraffes are ruminants, large herbivores that spend up to 18 hours a day eating. They need to eat at least 65 pounds of leaves per day to get the energy they need. That weighs the same as 162 slices of pizza. Mm. Acacia trees have several other defense adaptations that are meant to encourage the giraffes to keep a move on and not spend their entire day grazing just one tree. One of those defenses is that they have something called tannins. Tannins are bitter tasting chemical compounds that are present in bark, stems, and leaves of certain plants and trees. If that doesn't work, some acacia trees have stinging ants that will help protect the tree. 
In return, the tree provides a home and food source for the ants that feed on the nectar from the acacia's flowers. Ants will come out if they feel vibrations from the browsing drafts and sting them in the lips and tongue. Ouch! This defense will keep the drafts moving on to browse on other trees. And the winner of our adaptations battle is, it's a tie. If you think about it, it's kind of like an adaptation tug of war. Without any defenses against the giraffe, the acacia tree would die out. Without any counter adaptations, the giraffe would not be able to get to the leaves of the acacia tree that they need to survive. Through the process of evolution, giraffe and acacia have settled on a compromise that allow them both to win at the game of survival. All right, guys, who's hungry? Here you go.